What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hydro Gaming. Hi. Uh, we are going to be playing the greatest fucking video game of all We're time. We're playing Bioshock. Give it its proper respect or I will gut you with a rusty carving knife. You will gut me with a rusty carving knife. I'm pretty sure you just incriminated yourself. No. Oh, sorry. No. You're going to do great things when you grow up. He's smoking on a plane. You're not allowed to do so, that, sir. You know what? What? They were right. So why aren't subtitles on? Uh, They're not on for this first scene. That's annoying. Did you know what that sign said? That little postcard. It said something about would you kindly? It goes, Dude, to Jack from Mom and Dad. Would you kindly open this at... And then it breaks off. Oh, nice. So, right so now... I'm guessing it's where he's just destined... Where he's destined to go. Yeah. Right. B.O. Oh Chalk. I fucking love this game. The beginning, honestly, is boring for me now, because I've done it so many times. Hey, look, hey. it's a nuke. No, that's a shoe. No, no, but it looks like the nuke from Call of Duty when you get Kaboom. Oh. Uh, the Golden Mashishka. The what? Don't worry about it. What the fuck was that? Oh, God. It's, it's Yeah, this is what Captain Sullivan had to go through. Who the fuck's Captain Sullivan? He landed the plane safely in the water. Stopped a bunch of people from dying. Oh, you mean in the Hudson? Something like that, yeah. Oh. Mm. Burn! Like, like, back in the fucking day? I'm sorry. I, I, that was kind of rude of me for saying who the fuck's Captain Sullivan. I'm not very good with names. Oh, what's this? No health bar? No be hurt. <laughs> how stupid is well, that? How do, well, how do you know you're not being... Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. You don't know... That thing that's the pl that's the that plane comes into play uh, in uh, Bioshock Two, doesn't it? Not really. It's just it's there. It's there. You see it, yeah. But it's not. It doesn't come into play. What the fuck? Are you fucking? What the fuck is that? Is that penis? What the fuck's up with that cloud? That looks like a shit cloud. Hey, it's cloud from Final Fantasy Seven, <laughs> the game you the game you used to like. I did used to like. Then I played Chrono Trigger. Oh wait. Hello? Oh. No, no gods, gods or king. king. Only man. No, no gods or kings. Only sapo. And what country is there a place for people like me? I love Andrew Ryan. I love Jack. I love Fontaine. I love, At I love Atlas. I fucking love... I love every, every character in this. Except Who's for Tenenbaum. I like Tenenbaum for, the, Nazi. for the most part, but... Wait, she's a Nazi? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to make sure it's up to the wrong. She's an actual Nazi. Well, she did work for the Nazis. That doesn't make her a Nazi. Yes, it does. No. Schindler was a Nazi. He worked for him. Didn't in the end, but still, he was a Nazi. Just because you work with the Nazis doesn't make you a Nazi. It makes you a Nazi if you're a fucking asshole. And... Work with the Nazis. Oh, wait. Is it sad that I know this by heart, mostly? Yes. Fire at your fingertips. Incinerate plasmids by Ryan. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican. It belongs to God. No, says the men in Moscow. It belongs to everyone. I reject those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. Ah! A city where the artist would not fear the censor. Where the, where the scientists would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. And there's a big daddy. So how do they get this entire thing underwater in the 1950s? Because they're gods. 
Really? Oh, wait, that's a that's a rosy. That's a blue whale. <gasps> what? I'm pretty sure that's a blue whale. Oh my god, I love this game so much. A surprise, really? To the ladies, to the gentlemen, all good things. I'm, to the men, I'm of sure. this earth. Flow, flow into the city. Into the city. So Johnny's immediately fucked in the ass. You are in for the greatest game of your entire life. What if there was like a prequel to this? Like you play as Johnny and you beat the little, you beat the final big sister. No, big sisters come afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. First off, a Johnny would stand absolutely no chance against the big sister. And second off, big sisters came after Bioshock One. Yes, I know. That's what I was saying. Well, how do you know? Because Johnny, for all you know, Johnny just got unlucky and ran out of ammo. Here's my question. Why didn't he have a security bot with him? Why didn't he have a security bot with him? And Johnny this gets This is some Mortal Kombat slashed. shit right here. Isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's Mortal Kombat right there. Yeah. That's like fucking scorpions. Yep. Is it someone new? Wow, oh, your face is fucked up, lady. I think that's Rose. Who the fuck's Rose? You'll see. Do you get the killer later? I'm not saying. I can't remember anything from this game. Good. So don't spoil nothing. So that bathysphere is totally screwed. Oh, yeah. Sure. You asked so nicely. I didn't know there was a plane crash. Yeah. So, Alice becomes Fontaine, right? Oh, God damn it, you dick. What? I just told you not to spoil anything. Alright, fucking hell. Hopefully people will forget or they already know. This game came out in 2007. Who cares? There might be someone who doesn't know about this game. How the fuck do you not know about Bioshock at this point? It's got two fucking sequels. And it's the sequel to, it's the spiritual successor to fucking System Shock. Which looked terrible. Oh no. Couch. Well, look at his face. Yeah, I know. No, just look at his face. Duh. <laughs> Duh. I'm going to hell. Oh, oh God! He looked at us. I'm going to rape you in the mouth. Oh God. Hey. Yeah. Look what happened here. What happened here? Look, there's the luggage. Yep, the luggage. The lugage. Plasmids. Plasmids. So, you pop yourself with that. And they said this was drug reference. They were right. How is that drug reference? You're injecting yourself with a very long needle for some with some strange substance that makes you that puts you into an unconscious state after you take it. If anything, this is anti-drug. How? Well, this cutscene right here, at least, is anti-drug. How do you? Why do you do that? Exactly. This little. 
face and looked like he'd just had his cherry popped. Well, what? We are about to meet. That sound. That is the most a. That is the most amazing sound of any video game because it's the sing, it's the calling sound of the greatest character in any video game. B. It's the most terrifying sound you will ever hear in this game. Yeah. And I love it. Would you consider the little sisters to be evil? No. Would you consider the big daddies to be evil? No. Exactly. Okay. Oh my god. When I first saw him. Yeah? I fucking like. I fucking shit my pants. I was like. <sighs> what is that? Then I had to fight one. Oh god. That's awful. How awesome does it's he look? It's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. Bad thing is I can't skip no cutscenes in this game. That's bad. So that takes up how much episode do we have? Well, we're on minute 11. So that's four more minutes. Yep. First time plasmids I wrote kick from a mule. But nothing beats a fistful of lightning now. I gotta remember the controller switch from Bioshock 2. Yeah. Well. Excuse me, Jimmy. Enjoy the peanuts. So. Oh, fuck. Um. So, do they do anything to repair that, or is that just that locked just off? That's fucked forever. That's fucked forever? You see that? What? Did I see what? Oh, no. The kitty! Aww. Why the fuck are you hitting it? Wow. You are a piece fuck of shit, Brandon. you! You're not a dog! Fuck you and your dogs. I like cats better. Well, oh! Or I could just beat the shit out of them. So for a zombie apocalypse, would you take a pipe wrench? This weapon right here? A pipe wrench, yes. That's a pipe wrench? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. This thing's doing damage. It's like a pipe wrench slash, I think a monkey wrench. That's what, it's, that's what it is. The monkey wrench. What did you just knock over? Do not spill anything on my fucking car. I didn't spill shit. It's an empty can of Schweppes. What the fuck is Schweppes? Uh... Diet ginger ale? Oh, you're drinking an old man drink. Brother, you shut your face with your water. Yeah, I'm drinking healthy. So this homeboy doesn't give a damn that he's on... Well, now he does. <laughs> <laughs> Just ragdoll. And I go on up. Oh, man. Oh, how great is this fucking game, man? Oh, dude. All right, we are 13 minutes in. I... No. I don't know who that is. I hope he gets shot. I honestly don't know who that is. I think that's supposed to be something important. Really? Oh, God, I had to burp. I'm sorry. Apple. When daddy's in the ground, I was going to sell you by the pound. When your mommy's up and gone, you're going to be the lonely one. When you are the lonely one, no one will be there to say they sing the song. Hush now, mommies. Mommies what? That right there is a perfect shot, isn't mommy's it? Mommy's gone and daddy too. Wait, this is happening before and not. Why aren't you here? Why is it today and not... Then when you're warm and sweet, why can't mommy hold you to your breast and feel your teeth? Oh, no, 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 no. That's a perfect shower, Tara, isn't it? Yeah. That's a perfect way to show that you can stealth kill. Yeah. And then she was cradling a pistol. Wow. If I didn't care. 
more than words can share.